Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today's video Ustad Numan Ali Khan is talking about what happens when a nation disobeys Allah. Watch the full video, hope you like it. Let's begin. When Allah sent prophets to different nations and those nations rebelled against Allah and rebelled against those prophets like the people of Nuh alayhi salam or the people of Salih alayhi salam etc. When the majority of those people disbelieve then Allah punishes them in this life and the next life. This is a rule of Allah. You will see it consistent in the Quran. So the people of Nuh are flooded in this life and that doesn't save them from the punishment of the next life. They have to suffer here and then they have to suffer there when they disbelieve in prophets. When they disappoint Allah in that way. The same thing happens with the nation of Salih alayhi salam. The same thing happens with the nation of Shu'aib alayhi salam. And over and over again you find وَلَن تَجِدَ لِسُنَّةِ اللَّهِ تَبْدِيلَ You don't find a change in the way Allah deals with people in His ways. Allah has a set rule, He will apply that rule throughout. It's universal. Nobody gets to be an exception. But there's a different set of rules for nations. Not the, those are people who reject prophets. But when Allah chooses not a prophet, when Allah chooses an entire nation, Right? Bani Israel is not a, they're not a prophet, they are an entire nation. When Allah chooses a nation and they disappoint Allah and they disobey Allah, Allah does not destroy that nation. Allah does not bring a flood and get, get rid of them. He doesn't do this. What Allah does then is He humiliates that nation in this world. What Allah does is that He makes them powerless. What Allah does then, he, he punishes, one of the punishments that happen to them because they play with the word of Allah is they become each other's enemy. They start fighting each other even though they're all believers. They start calling each other kuffar. They start destroying each other's homes and resources. So they don't, even need, they don't even need an enemy from the outside. Their biggest enemy become themselves. This is part of the punishment they suffer because they don't live up to what Allah, the responsibility Allah gave them. So remember, Disobedient nations consistently face consequences, humiliation, powerlessness, and internal strife. We Muslims, by upholding our faith and responsibilities, can avoid these collective repercussions.